So I want to have a quick little discussion about police versus Black Lives Matter, specifically police abuse versus whether or not Black Lives Matter encourages violence. Now obviously this comes in the wake of what's still actually currently going on in Dallas right now, at least as of the time that I'm making this video. So I'm not going to talk too much about that simply because we don't know exactly what the end result will be of all of this, but we do know that several police officers were shot, some were killed while at a Black Lives Matter protest, and I'll just leave it at that. Now, when it comes to police, a lot of people will look at me and say, I'm a white guy, I like to talk about guns, I must be pro-police. And in fact, I'm not. In fact, I have a very healthy distrust of police officers and police in general, and government in general, and authority as well. And I think that's a good thing. I think we should all have that. Okay? That's the reason why we have a representative government. It's the reason why we don't have a king. We the citizens are supposed to keep our government on all levels in check and that includes police officers. Remember the good old days when police officers were servants? Remember to protect and serve? Well our government has changed that. They've militarized our police. They've told them that they have authority over us when they are not supposed to have authority over us. They are there to serve us. Our taxes pay for them to be there. Our taxes pay for our police forces. Yet we are told that we should be subservient to them. Why? Because the government wants to use them as a tool to keep us down, to keep us subservient to the government. That's what they now use police for. And this is a problem, a big problem I have. But the question is, is there a systemic problem with racism among police? And the answer is no. Quite simply, no. If you look at all the statistics, if you look at all the data across the board, if you look at police interactions with people of all different creeds and colors, there is no systemic problem with racism among police. Now, there is a problem of abuse, abuse of power, abuse of authority, power and authority given to them by the government, where they look at us, the citizens, and they make determinations on us, the citizens, that they shouldn't be making. And it is our duty to keep police officers in check. Now obviously there are some racist cops. That's always going to be a thing because there's always going to be a portion of the population that is racist. It's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. But make no mistake, it is getting better every day. It's better than it was 50 years ago, 30 years ago, or even 10 years ago. We are less racist as a society, as a culture now, than we were, and it's getting better every day. But yes, some people are going to slip through the cracks. Some people are going to make it to a position of power, a position of authority, like a police officer. And they're going to be racist as well, and it does happen. But the vast majority of shootings that take place where a white officer has killed a black person, it was not done because that person was racist or because that person was black. It was done because of some other reason. Maybe they were committing a crime. Maybe they were attacking an officer. Maybe they were attacking somebody else. But the media would have you believe that every single time a black person is killed, that it's done because of racism. And so would Black Lives Matter. And now we want to talk about them. Is Black Lives Matter encouraging violence? The answer is yes, they are. Now maybe they're not doing it intentionally. And maybe as an organization, their policy is not to encourage violence, simply to protest peacefully. But understand, there are people within the Black Lives Matter movement that are encouraging violence. And there are people who associate themselves, at least with that side of the argument, that are encouraging violence. Now that doesn't mean you should shut down Black Lives Matter, but it certainly means that Black Lives Matter needs to accept responsibility where responsibility is due. They need to disassociate themselves from people that they feel are violent. They need to speak out against those people. Two things that right now they are not doing, and that is a problem for them and their legitimacy in the eyes of the vast majority of people in this country. And it's something they need to fix. So in the end, is there any solution that will end all of these problems? Is there anything we can do that 100% will end police abuse of power, that will end our government twisting our police forces and militarizing them against us? Is there anything that we can do that 100% will end people being negatively influenced by organizations like Black Lives Matter into committing acts of violence against anyone, much less police officers? I don't know. Maybe there's a solution, maybe there's not. But one thing I do know is you do not stop fighting for your freedoms and your liberties and your rights, period. All of us, 
Regardless of what color your skin is, regardless of where you live, you should stand up and fight for those rights every single day. And every time you have an interaction with a police officer, you should always be 100% respectful. You should never cross that line into violence, but you should never, ever back down on your liberties, your freedoms, or your rights.